Okay, so I'm at the pottery studio, about to go in. This is not a good angle of my hand. It's like too much in the foreground. It looks the same size as my head. Bigger! So I'm at the pottery studio and I thought I would film because you guys said, I said, do you guys want more pottery content? And you said, we want the pot con. And so I'm calling your bluff. We'll see. So I thought I would talk a bit about, I have to roll down my window. I thought I would talk a bit about um, pottery, how I got into it. Is it too loud though now? All right, I'll just suffer. I'll suffer for my art. You guys wanted to know how I got into it. You had so many questions. You wanted to see it happen. <sighs> People are watching me film. You know what? Take a freaking picture. So I, saw, I thought I would talk a bit about you know, how I got into it, how I took the class. You know, you guys have so many questions. Um, and then you also want to said you want to see me in action. So I'm going to do that too. Um, so how I got started, I, if you guys have been watching me, um, I had a really hard time last year. I was really struggling with anxiety and depression. Um, I'm doing much better now, you know, I'm not exactly 100%, but um, so much better than I was last year. And and a big reason for that is pottery. You know, YouTube is my, my full-time job. You know, it's my main source of income. Sometimes you guys ask, you know, is this, does, is this my full-time job? Do I have a day job? No. This is what I do, and I love it, but if you are freelance, if you don't have a nine to five, then you know how isolating and alienating it is and how it can get pretty dark. Like humans thrive on routine and ritual. And when you're freelance, that can kind of really go out the window fast and your mental health goes with it. I needed a hobby essentially like I was I was really having a hard time I was becoming really reclusive I didn't want to leave my house or do anything and I was just like you know in my apartment like filming and editing and that just gets really bad for you sometimes so I needed something to go do and I took pottery all through high school as like one of the electives like we had different things to choose from we could do like music or painting or drawing or you know and I chose pottery all four years we didn't do anything on the wheel so that was totally new for me we did mostly hand building um, but I remember really loving it and I've always been kind of ad an admirer of like ceramics and things so I su just searched classes um, Los Angeles pottery class you know that's fuck hang on I have to take this Okay, I'm back. Oh, I was just on the phone with American Airlines for like an hour. Anyway, I just Googled, at least that's where I think I was. I Googled Los Angeles pottery classes and I found the studio that I belong to now. Um, some of you had questions about price. Um, for my five week class, it was 250. Obviously, that's gonna be different depending on where you are. Um, but in LA, that's pretty standard. Actually, that was a pretty good price. Um, I took three five-week classes, and by the third, I was like getting pretty good and really enjoying it. And I decided to join the studio. So the studio. To be a member at the studio, it's $165 a month, and that's not including like all the supplies I have to buy. So it's a pretty expensive hobby, but I really love it, and it's been so helpful for me. Um, it's a place for me to get out of the house and go and like really just like check out, like no phones, no computers. Like my whole job, you know, relies on me being like so like plugged into the internet, and so it's really nice to just work with my hands and just tune out. And I just love it so much. Um, and that's why I'm just so happy that you guys are interested and that you, some of you bought my ceramics and I'm happy to make more for you guys. Um, 
it just makes me feel really good because this is something that's I really love and that's really helped me um, so yeah so that's that's the kind of background on how I got into it um, I pretty much come four to five times a week I come to the studio now um, and you know I come like in the morning and I work till like the afternoon and then I go home and I work on YouTube stuff so it's really like filled up my days so much to the point where it's been my ritual and you know what to expect every day and that's been just really good for me mentally um, so I'm gonna take you in to the studio today and show you you know just just let you kind of sit and relax and kind of watch the process um, I'm not gonna talk during it because well first of all there's probably somebody gonna be in there and that's just really embarrassing and and obnoxious and like you know they're trying to work and like that's just really annoying for them embarrassing for me also and I also like to just like listen to music or a, a podcast and just kind of tune out it's like my time to just zone out so I'm gonna just set the camera up and let you guys see what I'm doing um, just to give you a brief on what I'm working on and what you're gonna be seeing I'm making some mugs I'm trying to get like a ton of mugs for the next um, batch of ceramics that I'm gonna put on my website I'm trying to do a lot of mugs because a lot of you guys those were the first things that went and those were like the biggest requests I got so I'm trying to get a lot of mugs going so you'll see me throwing the mugs you'll see me maybe making the handles maybe trimming the mugs um, yeah so you'll just see my day at the studio whatever I get into so let's go What you making? A dildo. A dildo? A dildo. Cool. In the cold kitchen light 
sign and you say these are troubles of mine where we thought to break it up coming under your skin don't know if we should stop or begin cause I was there by your side with my eyes open wide and I know that will always be true there were no reasons why there's all beauty must die we try hard but we also Beauty must die. We try hard. 